divinely inspired 1400 years ago, the noble Prophet Muhammad وسلم, set about implementing several new institutions and promulgating new laws for the transformation of humanity. From the desert sands of Arabia to the far corners of the world, a new social order of social justice was to prevail. Where the elimination of poverty was the target, caring and sharing was embedded in the cultural fabric of society and pleasing Allah in all our deeds was the purpose of life. One of the institutions that the noble Prophet Muhammad وسلم, created was the institution of Waqaf or Al-Qaf. If you are by the means, grab the opportunity to dedicate some of your wealth or properties as a waqaf to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For indeed, you will have a perpetual reward. So even after your demise, your charity will continue and your reward will continue. The first waqaf is said to be the Masjid Quba, which was built on land endowed by the Banu Najjar. When a person dies, all his or her deeds come to an end, except three. Sadaqa Jariya, ongoing charity or waqaf, beneficial knowledge and a pious child who prays for his or her deceased parents. None of you shall attain righteousness until you give of what you love, was the beginning of a revolution in the nascent community in Medina, where Ansar and Muhajirun shared and cared for each other without any precedent in human history. What is waqaf? A waqaf is a voluntary Islamic charitable endowment purely for the pleasure of Allah. A waqaf can be made through donating cash, property and or other assets. The income or user frax from the waqaf may be used for any Sharia compliant purpose. In South Africa, the idea is to provide uh, sustainable solutions and to empower communities. South Africa is at a tipping point. It has an opportunity to provide a great platform for Africa to grow. I think it is, it is an opportunity that we cannot miss. So the key role for OCAF is to provide sustainable solutions and that will reach the ultimate goal of alleviating the status of South Africa and spilling the success throughout Africa. Okaf South Africa set about with a vision to re-establish the divine institution of Wakaf in Southern Africa and beyond, to popularize and develop the Wakaf system, to create, mobilize, invest, manage and administer Wakaf funds and assets, to initiate and utilize the income from Wakaf investments towards worthwhile sustainable community development and poverty eradication projects and programs to benefit the poor, needy and designated beneficiaries. With its policies of cooperation and creating partnerships, OCAF South Africa has since inception developed sound working relationships with several local and international organizations. Since its founding on the 27th of Ramadan 1421, with limited resources, OCAF South Africa has initiated and funded through the generosity of its donors and volunteers several projects and programs. OCAF South Africa over these past 15 years has successfully undertaken projects that impact on a local community-based level as well as programs that are geared towards showcasing the achievements and contributions of Muslims to South Africa. In particular, the bicentennial anniversary of the unbanning of Islam in South Africa in 2004, the first Muslim conference on sustainable development, the first symposium on Islamic civilization in Southern Africa, and many other key developmentally geared approaches. Our downstream projects are focused on the following key areas, social cohesion and community development, Darushifa healthcare projects like intergenerational living, frail care and cataracts. OCAF South Africa invites you, your families, your businesses and every institution in South Africa to partner with us. We have a journey to undertake. The journey is transforming communities through empowerment. The best way to achieve this is to set up a wakaf in your or your family's names. It's like planting a tree that will bear fruit for many generations to come.